hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther morfrey in today's video i want to show you guys when do you buy when do you sell in this market i know this is one of the major problem that beginners of any or someone who has been in this market they face because the minute they buy the market the market seems to sell and the minute they think the market will sell the market keep buying where uh how do you know when to buy or when to sell and start making in profits so guys if you're interested continue watching the first thing that you need to understand is that in everything that you do there will always be rules guys there's always be there will always be rules that will govern your entry whether you're buying whether you're selling you need rules and i've given you three good rules uh, it's not something that is complicated. It's something that if you understand from this video and try to uh, to cooperate in your trading, try to practice, maybe you will see some change, some difference in your trading. So rule number one, and you cannot assume these guys, understand the structure of the market. Some people come in and they buy, but they have not asked themselves what is the structure of the market. So this is what I'm saying. Rule number one, understand the structure of the market. And I've told you guys, the market can be trending. It can be a trending market. A uh, trending means it can be upward, meaning buyers are in control. It can be downward, meaning sellers are in control. And the other thing, it can be a sideways market. Sideways market, I see them very, very easy to trade because all we need to do is to wait for a breakout. So guys, I will show you with example of what I mean by trending market, upward, down trade, and sideways market. That is rule number one. You need to understand the structure of the market. Rule number two that you need to understand is that know the structure that you must wait for retest and the one that you enter after breakout. I find that many people, whenever maybe a market has broken, uh, maybe a very, very serious key zone, if they enter immediately, sometimes it's a fake out and they end up losing the money. Or there are instances when the market breaks a certain key zone, you are waiting for retest and sometimes the market does not retest. So where do you know the difference? Where would you know that this market I have to wait for as a retest? And this one, this setup, I have to enter immediately. So you need to have that in your fingertips such that when you see that um, that setup in your eyes, you know I have to enter immediately or this one I have to wait for retest. The third one, when to avoid entering reversals in the market. Let's be honest, guys. So many people have lost their money trying to chase a reversal. For instance, the market is trending downward. And then for you, you want to catch that reversal. I can show you here. So the market has been trending downward like that. But for you, you want the market to turn uh, in your favor for a reversal and what the market does it keeps going down and down and down making you lose money and man uh, and and you keep adding in position and the market can be going on the upward side so the market can uh it is going like that let me show you the market may be doing something like this and all of a sudden we have a very stiff uh push on the upside on the upward and everyone is looking for that moment that the market will do that so everyone is looking for reversal but what happens the market does not give those people reversal and what is happening everyone is trying to sell the market here and that's what kill most accounts so when do you avoid those uh, certain markets? Because there are markets that if you see them, they have been overbought, they have been oversold, it's good for reversal. But when do we avoid? When do we avoid entering reversals in the market? So guys, with that being said, having identified the rules, having these rules in your in your notebook or in your mind, 
having them and understanding that I cannot enter a trade if the structure of the market is not clear. I cannot, uh, I will enter this trade for this breakout is real and I have to wait for retest for this certain setup and I will avoid entering reversals if I see a certain market in this way. If you have these rules, trust you me, you'll be able to make money in this market. So guys, let's start uh, with understanding the first one. So let's go quickly understanding the trending market. We'll start with buyers, upward trend. So I'll go to USDCHF. If you, if you look at USDCHF very clearly, you can see that this market is trending above. And when do we say that the market is on upward? It's when it is making high highs and high lows the market push another highs high highs high lows high highs high lows high highs high lows it keeps going up though, though so this market is uptrend so immediately i come and check the market is uptrend there is a way i need to approach this market if i come and see this is usdch so so this is a way an upward trend looks like. This is a trending market. You really need to avoid trading, trending market. Why? If the market is trending, our mind is always on reverse. And I don't know why we keep thinking that if the market is trending, some way it will reverse. And people, if you don't know how to trade a trending market, it's better to leave it uh, like that. Because there are so many people, I'll show you, there are so many people who tried to sell here. They sold here. They sold here. They sold here. And up to this moment, they are keep selling. And what is happening? They are losing in money. And that's why you see this very strong upward trend gaining more momentum. Because why? People are trying to short this market. So, a trending market, more so if it is very stiff, it is very, very hard to trade it because you don't know the key area that they will retrace the market to continue with the trend. So if you don't know how to trade a uh, very stiff, if you find the market has stretched like this, it's better to avoid. Okay, let's go to downward trend. We'll look at NSDUSD. So NSDUSD, a very good example of a market that has been trending down. So you can see, for instance, the market is uh, has broken this low, creating a lower low. And then the buyers are unable to push to this high. So it's creating lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs lower highs. So this market is definitely a downtrend and it is hard to trade this uh, this market because if you are new, you will start seeing reverse and that's what, if you advance, you can trade it because you know key areas, you know when to enter. But if you're a beginner and you have found, if you find the market at this level, it is easier to trade. I'm saying when you have found the market, it has been trending the market is downward sometimes we need to avoid to hoping in that market why because we'll sometimes make mistakes here and there but now let me show you number two number two rule let's go to our uh, a sideways market a sideways market is market that is not moving and this is the easiest market i think beginners are about uh, they can make very very good money the sideways market is a market that you can see for like a whole month or three weeks the market is on one level it's on a channel this market is very very easy to trade as a beginner why because the market can either do two things it can either break on the resistance area or break on the support area it is very very easy to break so whenever as a trader uh, i find uh, i know we have been discouraged trading sideways market for the longest time we are told oh avoid consolidation yes you avoid consolidation market because people try to trade inside this box inside the zone and when you try to trade inside the zone you are guessing but if the market breaks on either side now you are good to go and this is the easiest i think this is the easiest uh, trade that you can see so be looking for those sideways market put a box and wait for that side to break and you can see we had even another box here so it is easier to put that 
and wait for what uh, the direction that the market will give you. If I was waiting for this market, I would say, if it breaks on the upward, I'm entering buy. If it breaks on the downside, I'm entering sell. It's that easy, guys. So I find that uh, the sideways market for beginners is very easy, but also it needs, it requires a lot of patience. Why? Because this sideways market, it, it stays in one place for so long it can stay for there for like weeks it can stay for days if you're using higher time frame the longer even it is it stays so let's go to the next uh, rule so you have known the trending market you have known upward but uh, upward market downward market sideways market what it means and i've said sideways market is the is the easiest i think to trade for beginners number two know the structure that you must wait for retest what do i mean by this the market that you wait for retest and you guys understand this every time that you want to wait for retest i'll show you here so we have um uh, we have our resistance there we have our support and the market has been trending very good this is a trending market and i've told you trending market are not as easy to trade as people may think more so for beginners so when do you wait for retest if the market you want to trade this market of course if at all the market has it is on an upward trend and you ha have identified a key zone so a key zone for this moment for our uh, instance is that so this market is creating is creating high uh high uh it's creating these are low a high these are high low and a high 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 low high 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 low and eventually a high high so this being our let me write it this being our high low That's, that's being our high low. The only way we can hope in this market if our high low is broken. And that's how, that's the way to trade. If it is broken, now the character changes from upward to downward. So if this market goes like this and break this high low like that, don't enter. And this is the mistake. People enter sell immediately and they come here, long position, a uh, short position, they enter there and they put their stop loss at that moment. So this is something that I have told guys so many times. Don't enter because the market has broken high low. And I'll show you with examples. Don't enter immediately. What do you now wait? We are waiting for retest because two things can happen. The market can retest this previous uh, uh, low. It can retest this one or they can even come to this point to make a double top and that's why i say wait for retest because the minute can the market the price can come above and you think the structure has changed but it has not changed they were they are just stretching that retest so retest is very good so if you had entered there you will be on be very big drawdown and the market will eventually come down so let me show you with a live market what i mean the market that you have to wait for retest and that is audio is the example is very very good here we are having high highs high lows high highs high lows high highs high lows and this is like a consolidation and then the market should high so what do what are we looking here we want the change of character of course to happen we want the market to 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 change character so that we can enter a sell so we have identified that that is our last uh, our last low. You can see the market did a break and I've told you the market will do a very good break and it's something that people can see. Many people will enter this trade at this level and they'll get disappointed because the market will tend to 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 uh, play along that level they entered and they will close the trade with very small profit or small negative not knowing that the market will eventually go to their direction so all you need to wait this if the market breaks this the rule is that every line or zone broken it has to be retested you can see how many times the market retested this zone uh, for it to go down so whenever you have a structure of a trending market guys understand any trending market if it breaks 
breaks a key zone. Let's say a, a market was trending downward and then it has broken on the upper side. Wait for retest. Every trending market, we have to wait for retest. Guys, this one I'm, I'm telling you for sure. You have to wait for retest. So don't enter immediately because what happens when you enter sell? Imagine you have waited for this sell to break and you come here and you, wait, you enter sell position. What do you think happens when the market starts going up? Your psychology cannot hold as a beginner. What you'll do, you will cancel that trade at negative and immediately it comes down. You enter again sell, it goes up and then you cancel again and then after that, you will not even be able to look at that market and eventually the market will go to your direction. So waiting for retest on any trending market that, that wants to change the character, wants to move now to reverse is very, very crucial so let's go to the next one let's go to the next one so know the structure that you must wait for retest and now the one you enter after breakout there's the one that you don't wait for retest guys and is this one the sideways market that is very easy to trade don't wait for retest because the market has been in one place for a very long time and i'll show you with examples there's no way the market can be in like one month three weeks are just in this uh, consolidating trade, trading sideways. And then when it breaks, you're saying, I want to wait for retest, guys. It might happen, but 99%, it does not happen. So what do you do? If you have a zone, an area that the market was trending, uh, it was going sideways, and you have this huge breakout, guys, what do you do? Enter immediately. Place your trade. And the previous video, I showed you guys how to measure if the market has been trending on a, on a sideways. How do you measure for the TP? So immediately you will see that break. Just enter. And I'll show you with EURUSD, it did the same thing. The market was trending the, like that. Immediately Immediately, it, ha it has given you, we have broken with this candle. Don't wait for retest because you can see we just had one candle and that's not even fully retest. And you can see this market up to today, it is still, still selling. I can show you with GBP card, this uh, 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 trade that I entered. I'll show you in a moment what happened with GBP card happens with gbp card it was on a channel it broke you can see very clearly it has broken with, with this big candle enter immediately this one is a trade uh, uh you can enter with no worries and you can see as i measured let me show you as i measured um the length of that channel you can see i measured clearly the length because i had i had seen this channel you can see this channel i knew it can either break on both sides nobody knows it can break on the upward it can break on the downward you can see this is the size of that box so i bring it down and that's the tp and you can see clearly it took it hit the tp and these are how many pips this is the easiest trade uh, that you can uh, you can do 229 pips so guys there are those uh, charts that you don't uh, setups that you don't wait for retest and there are those ones that you have to wait for retest so it's you to know which one do i wait for retest which one do i not and i have told you trending markets when they are changing character wait for retest but the sideways market if they are breaking that very very serious key zone if they break enter immediately so and the last one uh the last one is what to avoid so this is what to avoid i've told you when to avoid entering reversals in the market uh i will tell you this for free Whenever you see the market is very, very sharp, the market is trending down in a very sharp way, there is no clear uh, retracement, avoid that reversal because everyone is trying to reverse, uh, to enter buys, you see, and the market keeps on selling. So whenever you see market is very sharp like that, don't enter those reverse. Wait until the market uh comes to a point that it's not that sharp and i'll show you even with euro usd the market is like this it's straight and everyone is trying to buy in between people are trying to buy in between and what is happening they are losing their money so don't enter market that is very very sharp trying to catch those reversals if you try to catch the reversal in in this uh, in this case, you will end up losing. Even NSD, USD, the market is not clear. The market is very, very straight. You can see it has straight. And unless this uh, 
uh, a high is broken, like the market comes and break that high, that's when we start seeing the market has shifted. So don't be obsessed with reversal. Reversal, let me tell you, there's nothing kills account like trying to catch reversals because you will keep on placing in trades, placing in trades, hoping the market will reverse, hoping the market will reverse. And what you are doing, you are, you are bleeding your account. So that is something to avoid. So if you do the three things that I have told you today, if you just do the three things, if you understand the structure of the market, and then the market, if it is trending, if it is uh, upward, downward, sideways, if you understand that, you are you have a added advantage. The second one, if you know the structure that you must wait for retest, from today, there are those structures that you wait for retest, there are those that you don't. That one you need to identify. Go and try to backtest by your own. And now I have a proof that this one, uh, this structure, the, the sideways, if you don't need to wait for retest, the market will still drop or it will still go up according to the structure. And then when to avoid entering reversals in the market. If the market is very, very sharp, I've told you, if the market is trending on a sharp way, like the buyers are moving the market very sharp or the sellers are moving the market very sharp on the downside, don't waste your time looking for reversal. What you'll do, you'll keep bleeding your accounts, putting in position, waiting the market to reverse. And most of the time it does not reverse. I hope guys, this was helpful. I hope this video will help you to know that when I start buying or selling, I have a clue of what I'm doing. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.